What's going on everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the New Balance 2002R from the Protection Pack or Refined Future Pack in this dark navy colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box you'll see they sell a variety of different insoles. So depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're gonna find there's a suitable insole for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and to me, I personally find them to be very comfortable. So if you guys wanna check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is the highly anticipated dark navy colorway from the Protection Pack or Refined Future Pack. Originally releasing in three colorways last year, this year, so far at least, they're following it up with three more colorways. The Mirage Grey or Japan colorway, which I reviewed on my channel a few weeks back. There's an orange colorway, and then of course, this one. So I believe these are released at some spots in Asia and Europe if I'm not mistaken, but so far they haven't released here in North America. But if the pricing remains consistent with last year's release, they should retail for somewhere around 150 US dollars or 170 Canadian dollars. So the style code for this shoe is M2002RDF, and the colorway is dark navy and mallard blue. And this specific pair is made in China. So diving straight into the details, the base layer of the shoe on the toe box, this is constructed out of a mallard blue colored mesh. We have this reflective silver 3M hit right at the medial edge, along with the New Balance and logo embroidered in the center, and then overlaid on either side, we have this gray colored nubuck. Overlaid on the front toe cap, we have this dark navy colored suede, and just like all the other pairs in this pack, it has the same jagged ripped up look to it, which is really what this pack's call to fame is all about. Moving downwards, covering the mid panel, we have more of these suede overlays, which are also done in this tattered sort of appearance, and the top two eyelets are done in this dark blue colored TPU. Stitched on top of the mid panel, we have the New Balance N logo, and this is outlined in this gray colored stitching. And then moving downwards, surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that blue colored mesh that we saw earlier on the toe cap. We have another overlay of Nubuck underneath this with 2002R branding found on the lateral side. And then below this, we have more of that jagged suede which wraps around the back of the shoe. And on the bottom, it has this perforated finish to it. Above this, we have this transparent TPU overlay with New Balance branding in the center, and it reveals this yellow layer underneath. And then found at the very top of the heel, we have this gray colored leather, which is also given that jagged cut up appearance. For the laces, so these only come with one lace option, and they're just your normal flat style lace in gray. Underneath this, the tongue is primarily constructed out of that same mesh material, but moving upwards we have this hit of Nubuck, and the top of the tongue is covered in this dark blue colored leather. It also has this jagged appearance to it, and in the middle we have this oval shaped cutout, revealing this transparent TPU overlay with New Balance branding. Just like all the other pairs in this protection pack or refined future pack, the foam padding within the tongue is exposed, and you can see this when you look at the tongue from the inside. And then as for the insoles, these come with a very well padded foam insole. It's covered in this black colored textile on top, and we have New Balance running branding stamped on the heel in silver. So the upper of the 2002R sits atop this full length absorbed foam midsole. The midsole on the forefoot is painted in this off white or sail color, and on the heel the foam here is painted in grey. And alongside the Absorb, they also incorporate Absorb SBS technology, along with New Balance's energy technology, and this is visible with these gel-like pillars found underneath the lateral side of the heel. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is constructed in this vintage looking washed out style. On the forefoot we have these grooves to give you added flexibility, and in the middle we have this grey colored TPU plate, which is what New Balance calls their stability web technology, and this helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Dark Navy 2002Rs. And for those wondering about how these fit, to me these fit like most of my other 2002Rs, so I'd recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I usually wear a size 10 in the 2002R, which is what I got in this shoe. And just to give you guys a point of comparison, I go a half size down in New Balance silhouettes like the 990 V3, V4, V5, the 992, the 998, and most of my 550s. And in comparison, I usually stick true to size or size 10 in the 2002R, the 997, the 990 V2 because of its more narrow toe box, along with some of the made in UK models like the 991, the 1500, and the 1530. So long story short, whatever size you normally wear for the 2002R, whether that's half size down, true to size, or half size up, whatever you normally wear, I'd stick with that same size for this pair. 
Moving on to the comfort, so the 2002R, in my opinion, is one of the most comfortable New Balance shoes in their portfolio. Even though it's not a made in USA or made in UK shoe, the comfort is really, really there. And I really like how balanced the shoe feels. It gives you a good amount of cushioning underfoot, so the step-in comfort feels very nice, but at the same time, it's not overly stacked and overly soft and squishy, so you'll feel well supported, and it's a shoe you can wear for many hours in a day without feeling any pain or any fatigue in the arches of your feet. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so like I just mentioned, this pair was made in China, however, the materials were very solid. I wouldn't say that they're the best quality suede that I've seen on a New Balance shoe, however, for a budget-friendly New Balance model that doesn't cost the same price as their USA or UK made counterparts, I think you would definitely get value for what you pay. So not only are the materials very solid, but I thought the craftsmanship also was very much on point. I really had no noticeable flaws on my pair, and I thought this was a very well put together, well made shoe. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Even if these were not part of the refined future or protection pack, I think this colorway is simply beautiful. I love the two tones of blue with the accents of gray and those small hits of those vintage colored hits. And I think this is just a very good looking shoe all in all. And to add to that fact that this is part of the refined future or protection pack, this will definitely be an instant sellout. And that makes sense when you combine hype with just a very good looking colorway. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this dark navy New Balance 2002R. What are your overall thoughts on this specific colorway and how would you rank this compared to all the other colorways in this refined future or protection pack? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you in some way, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.